In this video, I'm going to show you why your blog posts may not be showing your featured image inside on the Facebook your Facebook page. When you get an error like this, if it's showing a random image or an image that isn't actually the image you used in your blog post, then there's a couple of things why. Number one, it may be I'm actually going to my post and editing my post. The first thing is the image itself. So I see that this image is actually embedded into the post by using the visual tab and I can see that it's also down here. So one of these two images needs to be the proper size. If you click on it and you are you have the photo chosen here, over here you can see that the image is 640 by 406. So Facebook has a minimum size standard. You have to use that standard when using the photo in your blog post in order for it to pull here. Now, bottom line is Facebook's going to pull whatever image it wants to, but there's ways for you to control it. Number one, you have to have a big enough image. So if you don't know what that image size is, um, it is, actually I'm going to show you right here. I've created one, 1200 by 635. This is my little standard template. So you have an image editor. You may want to take your image, and in this case, the image is way too small. I can see it. So watch what happens when I copy this and I paste it on top of it. So that tells you right away this image is too small. What can I do about that? I can take a high resolution version of the same photo and I can size it down and make it that size or I can take the low resolution, which this is not the preferred method. In this case, it's all I have to do. I can resize this one. Actually, I'm gonna make it 300, 1200. And as long as this number and this number are bigger than the two numbers, 1200 and 635, you're good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Now you can see how it's a little bit grainy because I made a big image, or a smaller image bigger. So you always want to make a bigger image smaller. But in this case, I, this is all I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over and save it and reposition it. And then I will close this one. And I'll save this one as a JPEG. And I'm going to replace it. So we're good. Now I'm going to go back to my blog post and I'm going to remove the featured image that's there. And then I'm going to upload my new image. which is actually, it should show you the size right here. So if it didn't save, go back. I'm going to save it as a pin this time. It's confusing the original graphics, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to a ping instead of a JPEG. And there you go, you can see it's 1200 by 635. So I'm going to make sure I get my title. And I'm going to set that as the featured image. Now it's always a good idea if you have the image in the actual body of the post to have it there. That's always going to help you make that the featured image on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that's there and then I'm going to insert the one I just made. Now make sure here that you're going to link it to the attachment page, use the full size and insert it. Once I insert it, if it's huge, that's okay. You're going to click on the image and then click edit. And then you can make it a custom size here. And it's still going to only pull from
from the original. If you choose thumbnail, it's actually putting a photo in here that it, that when you upload it, it has automatically resized it. So this and this one are resized images and don't count. You have to either use the full size or you use custom size. So I went ahead and used custom. I resized it right here, 600, update. And I'm gonna center it and I'll just go ahead and update this post. Now this is not gonna update it on Facebook. But for all new posts, this is what you want to do. Now, there's a couple of other things that you may want to check. Um, if, for instance, you're using Yoast SEO, there is an option in here under social that you can turn on or turn off. I usually keep it disabled because this is going to use open graph metadata, and I prefer to use Jetpack. Jetpack is WordPress's own, and it will disable the open graph metadata for your um, blog if it is automatically being used with another plugin, but I prefer Jetpack because it works in tandem with WordPress, so it's always the best option in my opinion. So I typically go to SEO, to Yoast SEO, and I'll go to the social tab, and I will disable Facebook, and I'll disable Twitter. If you turn this on, then it will do Yoast SEO will take care of it for you. It'll also give you some additional options, which I'll show you here in a second. So you can actually go to your blog post and edit it. And you're going to see down here below the post, you have the Yoast SEO options, and then you'll have this little icon right here for social, and you can give it your own title and description and image. Now, this doesn't always work. Um, and they're saying recommended image is 1200 by 630. I usually use 635, but 1200 by 630 is fine. If you want to use this, you can. I don't recommend using it because I have in the past used this and it doesn't work. But whenever I use Jetpack, it always does. So I'll go into the social Yoast SEO and under Facebook, I will disable it. And the same thing with Twitter. And I will save those changes. Then what I do, if you don't already have this plugin, is go to plugins and you're going to click add new and you're going to search for this one's already installed actually always use open graph with jetpack so you'll see this I'll go through the steps even though it's installed and there it is so you'll go ahead and install now and then activate it and then you're good to go. And that will, that's all you need to do. Just install it and activate it. That's it. So once that's done, you shouldn't have any problems as long as the image that you've uploaded into the blog post into the body and the featured image is 1200 by 630 or 635. Either one works. And that's it. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah.